Schools often become students and teachers home away from home, but for one educator over at Griegos Elementary in Albuquerque's North Valley, campus has become her haven. Tonight, Julie Frendak helps pay it forward to her with the help of a few admiring educators. This story starts at this tree, just beyond the Griegos Elementary School gate. It looked a lot different before Maria Stewart gave it some much needed TLC. This tree was just about dead. And I could just hear him telling me, Mom, you can't let that down. <laughs> Years later, there are now little signs of her only son, Seth, all around her. I can't explain it, but it's... <laughs> It's beautiful to come out here. It's very peaceful for me. She lost Seth to pediatric stroke about nine years ago. He collapsed on Valley High School's track. Found out he had a stroke, um, a blood clot. And so uh, it, this is um, something that it's just shocking because it's the seventh, it's actually the seventh leading cause of death in children, the fifth in adults. All the blue you see in the garden and around the Griegos Elementary campus is in honor of Seth. Maria dedicates hours of time beyond her educational assistant duties to keeping campus beautiful and educating families about pediatric stroke. He's with me every moment and that's, he's the one that keeps me going. Her fellow educators took notice years ago. Everything that grows and is beautiful, that's Maria. Wow. That's what she gives to the school. Barbara Johnson describes her as humble and giving, always working behind the scenes. She wanted to change that, if only for a day. I know that there's nothing we can do to ever provide the comfort and support that a person who loses their only child needs, but I just want her to feel the love. Barbara, are you ready to pay it forward? I am ready. I'm so excited. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. We walked right past Maria on our way to the school's faux assembly. I bet you all wonder, what are we doing out here? The students and most teachers thinking they were there for end of year thank yous. Let's say a thank you to our principal, our office staff, and our nurses. Until it took a turn right toward Miss Stewart. Some of these people have had some very sad things happening to their lives, but they still want everybody else to feel a lot of joy and love. And that was our cue. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? Hi. So, like Miss Johnson said, we have this really awesome program called Pay It Forward, where every week our station goes out, we find amazing people in our community, and we give them $400 for all of the hard work that they do. And you guys actually have somebody here on campus that we're gonna surprise today. Any guesses? Any guesses? Is there a Miss Stewart here? Johnson and your lovely principal told us everything that you do for the campus, that you are here day and night, summers, winters, planting and fertilizing, um, working through your own personal pain to make this campus so beautiful. So we're here to pay it forward to you. <laughs> so we're going to count in hundreds to four. Miss Maria. One hundred. After hugs from each and every Griego student, her thoughts went back to Seth. Such a surprise, and I just love this school. I went to school here, my son did, so, you know, it's a very special place. And the kids, they're the ones that keep me going every day. Paying it forward. I think he's smiling. Julie Frendak, KOB4. You can always nominate somebody who goes above and beyond for their community. You just head to KOB.com and you look for the Pay It Forward form in the community section.